Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Be in the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. <laughs> and uh, just happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. Um, I'm going to be doing the April um, full garden tour. And I'm doing it a little bit early because I have something exciting to share with you guys. So I had talked about, um, I think it was last month, our plan to expand the fairy gnome garden and why we were doing it. We're trying to keep the dogs away from the neighbor's fence. And so John worked hard over the weekend and got it done. So here is the garden gate and we have extended our fairy gnome garden. And so I'll go over what the plan is for the future of this area. So what we're going to do is probably um, plant some trees over here. I want two more apple trees and then I would also like to have um, some nut trees back here. Probably a um, almond or in a walnut. So anyways, I have some sitting area now <laughs> again where I can just come and sit and think about everything. My weed whacker like won't hold a charge and so I'm trying again to charge it up we'll see and then hopefully I can get in here because we've had we had a big storm over the weekend we got over an inch of rain and yeah it's just out of control around here <laughs> so anyways here's the cactuses and they're gonna have more space to um, you know expand out now so that's good and I can plant other things in here more cactuses. Um, as you can see, we have tiny corn and tiny beans growing. My germination is not as great as I was hoping it would be, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll take what I can get. Right here you can also see that I have a birdhouse gourd popping up. So um, my spinach unfortunately is starting to go to seed, so I'm gonna have to pull that out but more corn. Here's a nasturtium. Here's my echinacea. Another nasturtium and bean and corn. Over here we have the more corn and then I have butternut and acorn squash and more beans. And then I just cut um, one of the artichokes and as you can see there's another one coming up. So that's exciting. Back here I have bachelor buttons that are about ready to open. John was really excited about that. That's one of his favorites. I don't know if you can see it, but right there that is a squash. That's supposed to be one that's like really good for pies and stuff. I forgot the name of it, but <laughs> anyways. We have more bachelor buttons and some sunflowers and a lot of weeds, but also new to the garden is elderberries. There's one here and then there's one over there that's getting overtaken by the poppies and the weeds. So, and then there's like an assertion, there's um, some of my yarrow that's coming up. So that's exciting. Another bachelor button back there. More poppies. Lots of sunnies. <laughs> and weeds. Uh, here is um, the lavender that the kids got me for my birthday. That's a Spanish lavender. Not as good for saving you know, to make things, but it's still beautiful. It still smells well. Here's all the alyssum. And here is my parsley going to seed. I'm just gonna let it do that and then it'll come back. I still have calendula, which is exciting. Over here, I transplanted some of our raspberries and they're doing really well. And then, there's lots of sunnies. And then here is the raspberries that I transplanted and blackberries I transplanted last year. Here's a blackberry that I transplanted. 
Um, here is our Granny Smith apple, and as you can see, it has little flowers still coming up, and hopefully we'll have some apples. Here's my blackberry, or not blackberry, blueberry, and I don't know. I think this one just got damaged, and I don't know if it'll ever have blueberries again, but we'll see. Here's a blackberry, and then another blackberry I just transplanted. They're looking really good. Our fig trees are really filling out. This is the Kubota one. Here is my ghost apple. Lots of little ghosties on there. I'm excited. These will be ripe in June. They are like one of the first apples to ripen. So I'm hoping that we'll get a good harvest. Here is our tiger stripe fig. It's really filling out, getting big. More raspberries. And we actually have some little raspberry blossoms. Little flowers on there. I'm pretty excited about that. Here is our pink lemonade. And there's little flowers. That's exciting. Here is our guava. It's doing well. I'm hoping we'll get guavas this year. And then our other blackberry. And I'm hoping this one will produce some blackberries this year. I think it will. So yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. <laughs> but I'm excited about the possibilities. What I'm going to do is I have some more raspberry and blackberries um, that I grew over the winter in the greenhouse. And I'm going to plant them along here just so that we have more that are along the fence line. And John did this to reinforce so the dogs will stay out. <laughs> so anyways, we'll come out and then we'll go to the orchard part. All right. So here we are at one of the cherries, and you can see there's little cherries on here. It's still leafing out, but yeah, lots of cherries. I'm excited for cherries. I'm hoping this will be the year we have a pretty good harvest. We'll see. Over here, we're coming to the plum. Lots of plums on here. I need to use up the plums that are in the freezer before June comes and we're June, July, and we're ready to harvest more plums. <laughs> but it's pretty exciting. All right, now we're at our mission fig, and those figs are getting bigger. I can't wait to start making more jam. Uh, this is John's favorite is the fig jam, but hopefully soon. <laughs> Here is our um, blood orange. It's looking really good. Um, better than it has in the years past and we're actually getting blossoms so I'm hopeful that we'll get some blood oranges this year. John is kind of impatient and he really wants this tree to do well or pull it out. <laughs> Here's our mandarin. Lots of little mandarins on here. It's looking really good. Hopefully they'll be a little bit sweeter this time around. They were good last year, but I'm hoping they'll be sweeter. Here's our lime. Look at all those little limes. If I could get this thing to focus. But yeah, it's just loaded. Hopefully these limes will stay on and will get big. And we'll be able to have some limes in the fall. Here is our grapefruit. It's still flowering. The grapefruit from this tree were amazing last year, so we're really hoping for another good harvest of grapefruit. Over here is our lemon. Lots of tiny little lemons. It's looking really good. Still flowering a lot. You know, George, the um, uh, hummingbird really likes this tree a lot. I see George on here a lot. And then here is our pomegranate and I saw some pretty big 
See, look, there's some blossoms. This one looks like it's about ready to open. Getting ready. So we'll have some pomegranates starting soon. I'm excited for that. The pomegranates from this tree were amazing last year. So hopeful that we're gonna have a, oh, here's one that opened or is opening. There's another one back there that's opening. So hopefully we'll have a lot of really good pomegranates. As you can see, I have a lot of volunteer sunflowers and I'm just gonna let them grow. <laughs> the dogs have trampled some, but that's okay. All right, here is our candy heart plum. We have lots and they're getting big already. This one is always the first one to flower in the spring. And it's usually the first one that we harvest in the early summertime. So sometimes even in May. So it's always been a good tree for us. Here's some more sunnies. Ooh, with lots of ladybugs. My phone is not one of focus today. And then here's our other little cherry. And as you can see, there's some little cherries on there. Very exciting. All right, now we'll go to the main. All right, so now we're in the main garden. And in this bed where I had lettuces, I still have some arugula in here. And it's doing all right, hasn't gone to seed yet. <laughs> but I also planted some sweet potato slips in here. So I'm hoping that we'll get sweet potatoes. I'm trying them in this bed this year. We'll see how it goes. I actually have more slips in the house that I need to put out here um, sometime soon. Because <laughs> sweet potatoes, if you don't know, need 120 days to produce. So the earlier you can get them in the ground, the better. Um, definitely after your last frost date, though, because <laughs> if they they're very sensitive, very tender to the cold, and so if you put them out too early, they will die. Here is my nasturtions and strawberries. I'm hoping the strawberries will just fill this whole bed. So they're expanding already. <laughs> so hopefully they'll continue to do that. Here's my onions and some lettuces. They're doing good. Here's our grapes. These are Thompson grapes and they're doing really well. They take a couple years and they definitely take a couple years. <laughs> to start producing. This is our first year um, with them producing and so I'm hoping that they'll taste really good. But there's lots on here. And then we have our squash looking good and then our borage. We had some pretty high winds and a lot of the borage, um, the limbs fell off and stuff so I need to get in here and clean it off. They fell down. Here is some more grapes on this <clears throat> we have four grape vines and um, these two are producing the other two on the other side are still pretty small so yep there's more summer squash and lots of sunflowers in here lots of sunflowers over here <laughs> along with um, I have peas and I have uh, cucumbers in here. So they're starting to come up along with all the sunflowers. I did, I had planted beans over here, but none of them came up, so I went ahead and planted some more peas. So hopefully those will come up soon. And then I do have onions and nasturtiums and some other flowers over at the end that are just tiny right now. Um, in these pots, here is some of the sage that I grew um, and just put out here right now. There's also a Mexican tarragon right there. I'm not sure how well it's going to do. And then I also have some um, chives. In this pot, it's the same sage that I grew from seed and then chives that I planted and then another Mexican tarragon that's pretty tiny but I also grew that fruit seed <laughs> over here I have tomatoes these are all the tomatoes that I got from the nursery as you know a lot of my tomatoes are having growing issues I think it got too cold 
in um, my greenhouse and so they kind of got stunted but that's okay so yep I have these and then these ones I had pulled off and put them in some water and they grew some roots but I'm not sure if they're gonna make it and it's okay if they don't but we definitely have a lot of flowers on the tomatoes so I'm hoping we'll get tomatoes soon so they'll start growing Here's a cabbage that grew back. <laughs> it's going to seed, so I'm probably going to pull these out all the way, totally. Ugh. And then this marshmallow is terrible. But yeah, and then here is my loofahs. They're doing good. Very nice. This is the safflower. It's doing good. Lots of peas in here. Over here is my paste tomatoes. And on the ends are cherry tomatoes. Also, I got those from the nursery. And then lots of onions growing. Uh, it's about time for me to pull out my kale <laughs> because it's starting to go to seed, which is sad. But yeah, lots of paste tomatoes. This is a super sauce tomato. This one is a big mama. <laughs> that one's a big mama too. And then over here, I have the sun gold cherry tomatoes and then over here I have the chocolate sprinkles cherry tomatoes I'm excited about that and here is our other grapevines not a whole lot going on that's okay they just need to grow these ones are a year behind the other two so it's expected Anyways, we'll go in the greenhouse and see what's going on in there. All right, so we're in the greenhouse. I accidentally left the greenhouse open because we were in the 80s, like high 80s on Friday. And so like Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we were in the high 80s and it was hot. Like it was literally hot. <laughs> and so I had opened up the windows in here but then I forgot to close them and we had like a big dip in temperatures and a big storm that came through. And so I forgot to close it up and well, everything seems to be doing okay. Sage is doing well. My peppers, sorry, there's a dog in the way, seem to be doing good for the most part. There's some right there that died, but that's okay. Those were old seeds. So that's okay. And then some of these are actually getting their big leaves so what I'm gonna do today is go and pull out the ones that are there's no chance and um, take those out and I'm gonna be replant or I'm gonna be planting some uh, zinnias the queen lime with blush that's some other zinnia queen lime orange uh, the peppermint stick zinnia, the queenie red lime. So these are all like green with some other color. Like this one has red, um, not the peppermint stick, but uh, the lime orange of course has lime. And then the lime with blush, I think it's like a pink. And then this is the binneries giant mix so some more zinnias I'm gonna be planting some more echinacea some foxy glove fox glove <laughs> and some I am NOT even gonna try and say that fox glove I saw these on a video on YouTube fox gloves and I just thought they were beautiful and so I'm gonna try to grow them it might be too hot here for them but We'll try it. And then the Excelsior Hybrid Foxglove. And then I'm also going to be doing some eucalyptus. I have the Silver Drop Eucalyptus and some Baby Blue Bouquet Eucalyptus. And then last, I'm going to try some Sweet Peas. I'm going to plant these in the front because I know that goats can't eat them, but I'm not sure about dogs. <laughs> so anyways... I'll just be in here today working on that and just trying to start some more things to put in the garden. Um, I hope you 
saw my front yard garden tour with the uh, Jerusalem artichokes that we're planting and I hope you'll follow along with that as well and um, yeah just check back next month and see what I've done in the fairy note garden with the extra space that we have now uh, for growing and just remember you know we live in the city we live in the sur suburbs not the city we live in the suburbs and um, you know you can grow things you can grow in the ground in pots and you know whatever you have I grow in pots I grow in ground I grow in raised beds I have a green stock you can do all kinds of different ways of growing food and so just see what's best for you and what you have space for but you can do it <laughs> I believe in you even if you live in an apartment you can grow something so I just hope that's an encouragement to you and I hope that you will um, grow along with me and tell me what you're growing and what you're trying uh, gardening is an experiment and I'm always trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't work so anyways I hope that you have a fabulous week and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!